So lovely to meet you. So Outlaw King, for me, it's almost like a, a brave heart too, but an untold part of the story. So how do you summarize it? One, one could actually say that it is a sequel just in terms of uh, timing. Uh, William Wallace's reign, I guess, was beginning to come to an end as Robert the Bruce realised that William Wallace had basically screwed it up, um, which, is, which is a terrible shame. But Wallace, Wallace goes down in history as being um, the, the great warrior, and that he was. Unfortunately, he wasn't the politician and he wasn't the diplomat and he wasn't able to unite his country. Um, and Robert the Bruce, sadly, was, uh, I think, mostly forgotten in uh, history. And uh, David and I felt that we needed to correct that and tell his story because, I mean, it's, it's just utterly remarkable that someone was, was actually able to do that, you know. And he did sacrifice everything that he owned um, and all his money, everything, in order to set his country free. So, um, you know, I think, I think it was a story that was screaming to be told. And yes, it is the sequel. <laughs> Maybe there'll be another one. <laughs> and it's done on such an epic scale and historical accuracy, you know, really drinking in the Scottish landscape. So was that really part of it that was important too? Yes, we um, didn't want to give our audience a history lesson, but at the same time, you know, we want to tell a story and it's a remarkable story. But we remained as true to everything that history told us that we possibly could. Um, obviously, we couldn't be 100% because you know, most of uh, history is lit written in Latin. It only accounts for births and deaths and marriages and wars. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't tell you, you know, what they did when they got up in the morning or you know what they ate or drank. So it was a, it was an, an awful lot of uh, forensic research. But we didn't want to labour it. You know, we needed to tell a story and we need to dramatise. So that took priority. A really committed central role from Chris Pine, even his accents pretty well nailed, uh, and also Florence Pugh. So how about working with them? Amazing. Dream team. Florence, I love. She's my all-time fave. And Chris was absolutely fantastic. What a brave move. What a brave move. You know, he, he, um, he completely embraced it. He put in so much work. He really was... Fantastic, and a natural leader in terms of the rest of the cast. You know, he rocked up as Robert the Bruce, and he stayed Robert the Bruce. You know, and his horsemanship. Uh, you know, it's just wow. I don't think anyone, anything could prepare you for for you know a shoot in Scotland that's that grueling, that amount of battles. I mean, we submerged him in locks on a daily basis. He was on horseback every day. You know, it was brutal, and he, you know, he just got on with it like a true warrior. So hats off. Really I mean, there are some quite brutal scenes, but it's also character development, you know, and, and it is an untold part of history. So what do you want people to take away? I would like people... The message for me is this is a, this is a, a David and Goliath tale, and I hope it inspires some more Davids. Fantastic. Come on, take on Goliath.